everyone, Timmy Reese here from Visionary Minds here with Jeremy Gerlich from Liverpool School of Cinema in American High. Jeremy, what's up with you? What you're doing at the Syracuse International Film Festival? I'm awesome. Um, I'm here with, because of Owen, and um, I'm here because we're making movies here in Syracuse. And yes. there was, uh, you know, I was invited and completely honored to be here. It's so exciting. Um, I'm showing. Uh, uh, the wedding ring with yes. Kevin Hart and Josh Gad, which was so funny. People are in the audience just cracking up, just cracking up. Did you see it? Did you watch it tonight? Um, I watched some of it, but I've seen it like five times already. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite part? My I'm favorite. kidding. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I want to answer this no, question. No, no, you don't need to. Okay, you can. Am I, would I be giving away for people who didn't no, see no, it? Of course. Okay. If you didn't see it at this point, you, you deserve to, to yeah. have it given away for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, my favorite part was in the beginning when Kevin Hart was saying how, you know, there's some snacks. I'm trying to get when the guy is trying to pay him for being his best friend. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's not worrying about the money, he's worrying about the girl. <laughs> that part, <laughs> yes. Well, you saw the first 10 minutes of the movie. I've seen it all. <laughs> Jeremy's just joking. I'm just joking. Tell so me, tell us about friend. all the positive things you and Will have been doing, bringing movies here, just all this amazingness. Tell us about it. Four or five films now? We've shot um, our team uh, with Will and, and Glenn Trotner and, and Michael Scotty and Tom Beecher. Like, we've, we've shot now four films since we started um, we're starting our fifth on Wednesday Thursday sometime um, and we plan on doing six before we plan on doing our six before the end of the year um, you know we just had this idea to make high school movies something yes. that I grew up loving you know the John Hughes films and um, we'd been collecting scripts for a long time and really really good material and i had been searching all over the country and Canada for uh, um, an abandoned vacant school where we could shoot all these films um, and I found out that there was a tax incentive here in, yes. in Liverpool in Syracuse and I googled schools for sale uh, Liverpool or upstate New York um, and the perfect school came up there and I, we got on a plane and we're like all right let's uh, Let's get this school. And yes, was, and you got it. Congratulations. We got it, and we were, um, you know, it was a, uh, it was a long, it was a long road to actually get the school, but we did it, and we, since we closed, we were, you know, we're four movies in, we're starting our fifth, and we plan on doubling it next year. So that's the goal. That's amazing. Well, I personally just want to thank you for bringing so much hope to Syracuse film community, the filmmakers, the actors here. We all are inspired by you and look up to you. You even allow people to take screenwriting classes with you. You're allowing people to be extras in your film. You're allowing actors to audition for roles in the future. And you and Will and everything you're doing at American High is so appreciated. Jeremy, one last question I would ask you is what's some advice that you would have for actors or filmmakers in the Central New York region who inspire to get into the industry but may not know how what advice would you give them um well firstly let me just say that uh thank you for what you said in, uh, in terms of what will and i are doing we couldn't have been more um blessed and and it couldn't have found a better place to come and do this the people here have been incredible and we wouldn't be able to do this if we didn't have talented people yes. who wanted to be in the movies or people who were interested in, in, in working in the film. We need we need you guys, and we need we need the people of Syracuse to um, to come out and learn exactly like take your talents and like be taught by people who have been doing it for years. And yes. you know, we've had people who were interns on our first movie who are now working full time. You know, amazing. Now there's, we're doing two movies. Um, Simultaneously, there's two films going at the same time. Glenn Trotner is producing a, a film. Glenn has, was our producer. And he is bringing another film up here. So a lot of things are happening right now. So it's, it's really exciting. So what, what are, was your question? I forgot. What is some advice that you would give to the some actors advice. and the filmmakers so, in our region? OK, so a couple of things. I actually posted this. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram or yep. Facebook, but I posted this um, this video, this audition. I, I have a Netflix show coming out called Best Worst Weekend Ever. Yes. It comes out on the 19th on Netflix. Uh, like it, watch it. It's a, the only thing I've ever done that's appropriate. I've seen the um, billboard. Kids, that's and, awesome. Um, it's really funny. Um, oh, I think our movie's over. So watch this. If you, if you watch this post, I said any if actor who is given one line to do something, watch what this guy did, and it was the most amazing thing. He was given one line, which was to read for Jerry the Comic Cop, and his line was, stay calm, kids. 
and he had never read the script, he had no idea what it was, and he just was a funny guy. He's like, all right, I have no idea what this is. And if you watch the video, it's so funny. He literally does like every different version of Stay Calm Kids you could imagine. And somebody was calling out the names, and I got it. I was like, you have to see this. I showed that the producers, Netflix, everybody, they're like, this guy, hire this guy. We gave him a huge role in the entire, in the Netflix, his name's Elon Gold, and you should, you should watch what he did. It's pretty incredible. He took an opportunity, like, okay, so right now we've got, um, I don't know when this broadcasts, but we have open auditions here because it helps us to find the most talented actors yes. and actresses that are local so that we don't have to be flying in people from LA, LA or wherever. New York. Like, how amazing Syracuse has so many theaters and, you know, and so many talented people to be able to use somebody who, you ready for me? Yeah. Um, to be able to use somebody who's local is... Um, is you know a blessing and saves us money and allows us to be more efficient. Well, thank you so much, Jeremy, and thank best you, of Sam. luck with everything. Take care. Talk thank to you. you. Oh my gosh.